Hi YouTubers, still on the acrylic. Um, this is just a bit of watercolour paper I've uh, gessoed over with my homemade gesso. I used a dilute PVA glue. I mix up here two parts glue and one of water. And it makes a great uh, flow medium for acrylics, but it does dry very quickly as well. It's not a, a retarder. Uh, and I've, I've mixed, a, I put some, squeezed out some glue on the paper when it was flat. I put on a load of uh, poly filler, which is in, in the UK, it's a plaster filler repairs for decorating. Um, and I smeared it all over with the knife and then I roughed it up a bit. So it's got quite a surface on it. Um, I'm going to rough in some a basic uh, surfy scene reminiscent of all my holidays in Cornwall. Rocky coast, North Cornish coast round Newquay. But this is more, abs well I hope it's going to be more abstract than uh, anything else, but it will bear some relationship to the landscape or the seascape. So I'm just going to rough in a bit of a cloudy sky. I think the colours are Cadmium yellow, lemon yellow, Wilco's colours, Wilkinson's. Uh, the yellow ochre isn't, that's an artist, well that's a galleria. Uh, titanium white of course, cadmium red, ultramarine and a bit of black to make any green. I might want to put a bit of green on some of the, on one or two of the, the rocks poking through. Uh, so I just want to just uh, rough in this, this sky. I'm using quite a bit of the medium to, to get this sort of flow. You can hear how rough that is. A bit darker on the top. I'll put your red in this, this mix. This is just the undercoat, nothing Too graphic at this stage. None of it's going to be graphic in reality, though. So we just want a, just a bit of bit of dark, and then we can put a bit of light cloud. Uh, not bothering too much about any uh, definition at this stage, but you get a nice dark mixing the red and the and the blue. Okay. Uh, and we'll go in with some some white. I'm using pencil brushes. These are the Chinese, cheap Chinese ones. Oh that one's probably not low Cornell China. I've had them for years, I had them for oil painting. But I don't, whoops, I don't do oil painting now because of the the uh, f solvents. I'm not a great lover of, of that. So let's have a bit of bit of cloud on the, on the horizon. It's just, it's a sort of an impression, abstract impression. Anything I don't like, later on I can wash out. Oh, I have a bit more colour in that. Low cloud. I have to use a lot of paint on here because of the thickness of the gesso. Okay, that that will do for that. Let's uh, just get some more definition in the sky. No, really dark now. Don't know whether I use the black, not 
sure about that. But I want some some dark notes in the sky. Okay, that'll do. Right, now we're going to go in with the... Uh, some water. Another brush. Uh, I want to put in some uh, a few rocks. So I just mix a bit of the blue and the black for those. I think. Oh, I better like green. There's plenty of cloth for this. I want to thicken up quite considerably some of this paint. I've squeezed out quite a lot of white. I'll come to the end of my tub. But I do have another one. Okay, so uh, mm -hmm. let's separate the land from the sky. Green brush. Now we're we'll going with a thick, thick, thick stuff. I like black and blue, the ultramarine, it uh, gives a lovely, lovely grey. If I knew where I put it. I'm using yesterday's palette, all cleaned off. Come back to that dark. Mm. 
Which also I'm capturing the mood. Right, let's go back into that sky. Bit of ochre in the sky. I don't want it to be too bitty. I think I'll go up a bit with that horizon. Bring it up into that cloud a bit. to get away from the graphically painting. Right, let's get a bit, bit of agitation in, in this here. Now this won't take long to dry really. Right, let's get some bit of darker in there. Nothing subtle in this, is there? You could always use a knife on this. It's just a bit too flat for my liking. Agitation comes to mind. You can always put a bit, a bit of land on it, what that looks like. You'd never know, would you? But just bring back to a bit of reality. Oh, 
be a fancy. Headland. That's my title. Well, not sure what British impressionists will make of this one on Facebook, but I'll put it in a, in a mount and we'll have a, we'll have a, have a look. Stick in that. Uh, no, that's not well. There we are. I'll just draw that curve through the O'Brien. So, hold on a sec. <coughs> After the lousy day we had yesterday, beautiful day today, late January. Oh, it's on. Hmm. Well, there we are. That, that's about. That's about it. Let's just stick it on there anyway. Whoops. Ah. Oh. oh. Again, I these mounts only cut for for seeing what they look like when they're in a mount. Okay, so there, so there we are. I don't maybe we could just have just a bit more of a dark rock, maybe blue and red, black and red, and blue. Right, uh, I'll put a little bit of that. That dark of the... There. So, Headland, headland that's, that'd be a good title. Now, you'll be surprised who will like this, and some will hate it. But anyway, that was, I, I enjoyed doing it. It's good fun. It's good fun to get out of the comfort zone and, and try something new. It's got a, still got a hold on reality. It's still a sea, seascape with a bit of a headland. Agitated sky goes with the agitated uh, inshore. <clears throat> uh, we'll see. see what you think about it. Don't forget there's lots and lots of videos on, on Patreon. And thanks for watching. Bye bye.